Hey everyone, my name is Amy. If you're new, I am a stay-at-home mom. I have three kids that are three and under. Emma is three, Grayson is two, and Graham is six months. And I have a cleaning and lifestyle channel here on YouTube. And today I am sitting in the Home Goods parking lot and I'm gonna do a little shopping. I'm probably gonna go to like Hobby Lobby and Kirkland's too. Um, but I am looking for decor for my master bedroom, which I'm super excited about. We've been in the house almost a year and I haven't bought anything for it really other than our bed and bedding. But today I'm gonna shop around, I'm gonna find some great stuff, I just know it. And then I'm gonna take you guys home and we're gonna deep clean and decorate. I'm so excited, let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so I am back from my shopping trip. It was very successful. I got, I think, everything I need to kind of redecorate the space. I'm really excited about it. Um, but before we get into all of the goodie bags here and before we get decorating, I have to clean this room, you guys. It is trash, so here we go. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and strip my bed of all of the sheets and bedding and blankets and throw it in the washing machine. Showing off, don't wanna have to wait tonight, wait tonight. Bets are off, I'm gonna find my way tonight, wait tonight. Y'all, I am so embarrassed that you guys have to see this, but it's real life. The past couple of days have just been crazy, and most of the clothes behind me are actually dirty. So you're just gonna see me here, um, kind of going through them, putting things where they need to go, and getting things picked up. This Now that I can actually see the floor again, I'm just going ahead and diffusing some lavender essential oils. Today it is very stormy outside, so it's just really nice and relaxing and cozy. Pretty much everything is straightened up. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe all of my big furniture pieces down with the Method Wood for Good spray. And here I'm just using vinegar and water to wipe down my mirror. sneak peek of all of the stuff I had bought today. It was quite a bit. And this is also the area that I'm gonna be decorating in just a second. <laughs>
point I have everything picked up I have everything wiped down I haven't vacuumed yet or made the bed yet um, but I'm kind of waiting for my sheets to dry so I thought this would be a really good opportunity to show you guys everything I got today this is a pretty big haul most of the stuff came from home goods um, but then there's stuff from Hobby Lobby and a little something from Kirkland's as well so let's go ahead and dive into what I got at Kirkland's now this is all mostly all for like the bookshelves you just saw me cleaning and um, we've been in this house almost a year I think I said that before and I just haven't done anything with them yet so I'm really excited okay so this is the first thing is <laughs> it's really big <laughs> this is the first thing that I got at Kirkland's you can see it's a little XOXO um tic tac tac XOXO, that's what I'm saying. Tic-tac-toe game, and it's more designed for um, a coffee table, but I thought it'd be really cute just like sitting up like this, so we'll see. If not, it'll be cute on my coffee table. What else? Oh, and now also at Kirkland's, I got just some like decorative beads. I thought these were really pretty. Hang them over something. So that's actually all I got at Kirkland's. Um, not a whole lot. I actually wasn't super impressed with their stuff um, and I know it's, I love Kirkland's it's probably one of my favorite places to shop um, but sometimes if you go between the seasons like right now they're kind of like at the end of summer and they they're putting out their fall stuff and it's beautiful but I'm not ready to buy fall stuff in July <laughs> so um, it was kind of like not a whole lot going on so that's everything from Kirkland's um, oh let me show you this really quick okay so I just ordered these off of Etsy and they came in today perfect timing but they're tiny little wreaths um, but they are designed for the tops of like candle holders um, so I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with them but I thought they were super cute and I have lots of candle holders in my house so I know that they'll go somewhere but, um, okay let's go with Hobby Lobby next um, let's see all of their florals were 50% off this week which was good. I was a little bummed their um, tabletop decor wasn't on sale, so I didn't buy anything, but that's okay. So I got this cute little set of plants. I thought that was really cute, and it was like $12.99. Not bad. I got... Oh, I'm really excited about this. I got this little um, mirror but it is like a picture frame. So it's just gonna like sit up on the bookshelf. It's kind of flimsy, so hopefully it doesn't break. And then, what else did I get? Oh yeah, um, I got a picture frame. Um, in case you didn't know, Hobby Lobby's picture frames are always 50% off, so they're really good prices. And I thought this blue in here was really pretty and it tied with my throw pillows. So, I'm going to have to put a picture in here. And then the last thing I got was this kind of sad little thing, but just an extra little piece of greenery. I kind of always pick these things up. I just feel like you can't get enough of them. And when they're 50% off, they're $3.99. So, that's not bad. So, that was everything at Hobby Lobby. Now, for home goods. <laughs> Now, I went a little crazy here, um, but I just found a lot of really cute stuff, so we're going to dive right into it. The first bag, a lot of it I have to like unwrap, so I'm sorry about that noise. Okay, this is super cool. I forgot. Okay, so I found two different bases. This is the first one. The other one is the same kind of color and texture. It's just smaller. And they both were Magnolia Home, which is like the, um, you can find this at like Pier 1 and stuff, and I only paid $12.99. For this one. Um, there's another one in here somewhere. So that, oh, there it is. So that, that I thought was a really good time. Here's the other one. This one's really small, so I thought it'd be cute on like a stack of books or something. Ooh. Okay, what else? Oh yeah. I got this cute little guy. I loved the black um, in this because I have a lot of black accents in my master bedroom, so I thought he was really cute. And then I got this cute 
globe again with the black and kind of the natural wood is kind of the theme going on throughout my room. I got oh he's cute. This cute little guy. You guys, if you have a home goods by you, um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls have them as well, but Home Goods has more. Um, the best place to go find little plants like this. They're so cute and they're fairly inexpensive compared to other places. Like this was $9.99 and I feel like at like Kirkland's or something it would have been like $19.99. So lots of greenery. I'm a huge fan of greenery. And then I also got a cute little candle. I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. It is Oatmeal Milk and Honey by Milk House Candle Co. And it's a soy candle. I really like soy candles. Now, Home Goods candles are kind of hit or miss. You don't know how old they are, but this one smelled really um, potent. So I think it's going to be good. But if anything, it'll be cute burning sitting out on my bookshelves. this guy <laughs> I thought this was just really cool and geometric without being like over the top I just thought it was really pretty it's really big it's like bigger than my head so and then this little guy it just says trust in the Lord and it's really simple I'm not like a huge fan of lots of pieces lots of pieces of art that have like a ton of words on them um, even if they are scripture or Christian I just it's too much clutter for me so I thought that this was a really cute way to have like a little something but it's still really simple and again this is all still from home goods I think I just have one more bag this guy also huge and I thought he was really pretty, again with the black, um, but still very natural looking. He's like huge. And then the very last thing I got was another picture frame. And this one just has like a little gold rim and kind of a burlap-y whatever that's called, insert. I thought that was pretty. So yeah, that is everything that I got. I'm so excited. It feels like, I hope it's gonna be enough. I know it looks like a lot, but there's a lot of shelves here. So hopefully I can figure it out. If not, I have like a pile of random decor right there that I just have on hand. So let's go ahead and start decorating. Here's kind of an overview of everything and I totally forgot to mention this entire box is full of books. Okay, so now I'm finally just decorating. It did take me a good few minutes to kind of get all of the shelves right, um, kind of just figure out what textures work together, what layered well together. You'll see me play around with the different pieces. I probably spent a good half hour, 45 minutes playing around with both the shelves, um, which kind of seems like a long time, but I absolutely love the way that it turned out. so cute in that space and they really do make all the difference. part to figure out. It was so big and I didn't want to center it 
Um, so I played around with it forever, it felt like. But anyway, it ended up being super cute. Escaping all the gamma rays. Tell me how do we get, how do we get so great? Tell me how do we get, how do we get so Of course, I had to go ahead and light that candle to make it feel extra cozy. I ended up moving some picture frames around and my new one ended up on my dresser. And then the little um, wreaths there ended up on those candle holders. And I think that they also turned out really cute. I love them. Blankets finally made it out of the dryer, so here I am just making my bed. This is the bookshelf on the left. It took me forever to figure it out, but I love the way that it turned out. And then this side is also super cute. Sorry for the lighting, you guys. It's like so dreary outside. It was sunny when I started filming, but anyway. So I'm gonna take a step back here. And this is the finished product. I absolutely love it. It turned out better than I thought it would. Super happy with it.
enjoyed today's clean and decorate with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the new decor from the different stores and the final outcome of the bookshelves. If you did like this video, please consider subscribing, hit that thumbs up, and make sure you say hey in the comments below. I love getting to know you guys, and I'll see you really soon in the next one. Bye.